Kindiki and uh, Ruto and Gashagwa, they best pray to their God that they remain in power forever. Because the seeds that they have sown, the Bible says, you will reap what you sow. We had a tradition in this country where we didn't go after retired presidents. Uh, we didn't see the sort of uh, vengeance and vindictiveness from a regime that uh, people would be elected and they would just proceed to serve the people. Uh, it, is a, it, it is very clear that the main agenda of this government was to visit revenge on the people that they perceived maybe treated them badly when they were in power. I want to, them to pray that they stay in power for long, forever actually, because I am not a prophet. But when I close my eyes, I can already see that headline. I can already see that headline saying, XCS Kindiki protest police visit to his house. I can already see the breaking news item, Ruto addressing the press at night outside his mother's house because the police have come there. That is the seed that they have sowed, a seed of hatred and revenge and vengeance that they have watered with the blood of the innocents. I pray to God that they remain in power forever. Otherwise, what goes around comes around. As a young leader myself, I wish that we would see a new country. I would love there to be a country where it doesn't really matter uh, what somebody did or did not do during their time in power. You leave them be. When you are elected, you move forward. I would not want this vicious cycle to continue because in the end, what is going to happen is that people are going to run uh, for office and perpetuate themselves in power only either to uh, protect themselves from revenge or to perpetuate revenge on people who they perceive as having wronged them.